y'all, it's Alyssa Darby Daisy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am a married mom of two. Uh, we are budgeting our way to paying off just under $10,000 worth of debt, financial freedom, and buying our first house. If that is a journey that you feel like you would like to follow, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, you can click the little bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. On Wednesdays we do cash stuffings, on Saturdays we do random videos, sometimes it's budgeting related, sometimes it's not. And today we are going to be cash stuffing for June week four. And I'm gonna add something because I realized I meant to be doing the hydrator pay for June, um, which is a challenge from Hands and Bands. If you have not checked her out, please do yourself a favor and go check out her channel. Uh, Alicia is absolutely hilarious. I love watching her videos. Um, it's amazing. So anyway, uh, the goal right now for me, so, okay, first off, let me explain. Here's the little directions. Um, you set your goal amount for how much water you would want to drink per day. The days that you hit your goal, you color in the water bottle. On the days that you don't color in, you take that money um, out of your spending. So like your personal spending, you pull that money out and then you move it to whatever savings, sinking fund, whatever that you decide is where you're going to put it. I had initially been thinking I was going to put it towards savings for the kids, um, but I want to be a little more specific. Now that I have a technology envelope that I want to use to save up for the kids to get a tablet, I'm going to put the money there. So I'm keeping it small because I don't get much spending money per week anyway. So each week, if I missed every single day, I wouldn't be able to cover it. Luckily, I do pretty well. My goal is only 16 ounces in the morning. That's my goal because I'm trying to really set myself up for good digestion throughout the day. And I've heard that starting your day out with two glasses of water in the morning is a way to do that. So my goal is 16 ounces every morning. It does not matter how much else I get throughout the day. If I don't get that 16 ounces in the morning, like before I eat, then I'm not counting it. So I went ahead and colored in the first three weeks of June, because that's where we're at right now. And I've only missed three days so far. So luckily, I can totally handle that. Um, my goal, or my, not my goal, my, um, if I don't hit my goal, what I decided to take out was $2. So that's only $6. So once I get to my personal envelope, I will go ahead and pull $6 out and put it in the technology envelope, which I just realized I do not have with me. So bear with me just one moment. And I'm back. All right, so this I'm gonna set off to the side and when I get to, this is such a cute envelope. Um, when I get to um, my personal spending, I will pull out $6 so that I am up to date on the hydrator pay. And I will remember to bring that with me the next two weeks to check in on that. So with that said, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my envelopes out of the way. And slowly but surely, I would like to move all of my envelopes to the, um, actual like cash budgeting envelopes but this is where we're at which brings me to my lovely homemade cash tray um we're gonna go ahead and grab our money first i'm gonna make sure that we know what we're working with um if you are new here my husband and i live with my parents so first off i want to bring to your attention that i we do not have a um category for rent or utilities. That is because currently we are trading labor for rent. We did used to pay rent in the past. Right now we're trading for labor because we're working with a slightly lower income than usual. Um, and also we're saving up for house and my parents do understand that that is going to take priority right now. Um, so the earned income this week is only $86. That's a little bit, um, we try to stuff 500 every week. So the 86, there was a little bit over 500 last week for my husband's paycheck. So we just moved that to this week. And then I had, um, $70 of my own income. So that is going here. Um, the other is just money that we're pulling from savings. Now that is money that we would be spending no matter what. And this just gives us a chance to give it a purpose. So we will be, Pulling for 14 out of savings, giving us a total of 500. So I will go ahead and make sure that we have 500 here. All right, here's our money. I love this. All right, so 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 
40, 60, 80, 300. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83. These ones are all going to stick together. 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. Come on. 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 500. You know what I need? I need that um, sort quick or whatever it's called that Alicia is always talking about on her channel. <laughs> because, man, these really just want to stick together. Especially when they're brand new like that. They're pretty when they're new, but they are not easy to count. All right, so we're going to, oh, I just realized I don't have any hundreds, so I don't need to go all the way to the top. I have not had hundreds since the, like, I think my first cash stuffing. Uh, all right, so we are going to go straight into it. I'm going to try to keep it less chatty. I don't know. Um, that's probably not going to happen. It's just not. All right, so debt payment is going to get 80 and I have not been updating my trackers, as you can see, and I will try to do better. All right, so we're gonna get 80, and I don't know why I don't stuff this with different denominations, because now I just have a bunch of 20s to count. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20. And we will be paying down our first two debts at the end of this month, and this should give us a little extra to go ahead and put towards the um, next set of um, debts. We have, my husband has a couple of uh, medical bills that need to be dealt with, and then also some student loans. So that's what we're working on. Um, Allstate, we did just go ahead and pay the full um, six months, so that's gonna show up when I do my check-in. Um, as a lot of money over budget. Um, but we did talk about it first and we decided that that's what we want to do. So we are now stuffing for the next six months. I don't know if I want to move this to um, a revolving fund or if I want to start moving some of these back over to bills just to make sure they get stuffed regularly. Um, but we are definitely talking about changing things around again in July. Um, Verizon is going to get 50 and I realized I messed this up. So we are going to have to um, figure out exactly what we're doing here because this is actually due this week. For some reason, I was thinking it was next week, but it's this week, and we are $45 short because we have 50, 100, 50, 200, um, and our portion of the bill is $245, so we've got to figure out what we're doing with that. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Let me, um, need to drink some water. All right. Um, so, moving on to our cash envelopes. Um, we had a really busy last week and a really busy this week coming up and I'm really hoping that we can get some enjoyment in our summer because I mean we've had fun but we haven't been able to go have adventures and I really want to go have adventures um, all right so groceries is getting 50 uh, we have a tiny bit left from last week uh, we had 10 <laughs> we had 10 left so we've got um, 60 in there now I don't know why I keep tapping my pen I'm gonna put the cap over there so I don't keep capping it. Um, and I do think we actually are going to have to buy some stuff for other people in the household this week. So we are probably going to have to put more cash in here from other people. I will make sure to make a note of that if and when that happens. And then in addition, we do have food stamps. So that covers um, the vast majority of our food purchases. This is mostly just for other things like we um, need to get my son a new toothbrush and stuff like that. Um, gas is going to get 30 this had quite a bit of rollover. Uh, I really need to fill my van. <laughs> like, bad. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 99, that is a fun number. Um, and yeah, we just, we haven't been going as many places uh, over the summer. Like I say, we haven't been going on adventures. Um, so we haven't had to fill up very much um, so we'll have to look at July and see if we want to start stuffing less or, uh, we might leave it because anything that's left in our cash envelopes at the end of the month is going to go towards a house down payment. Um, there is absolutely nothing in fast food and we are putting 20 in there. 
uh, we've actually been eating substantially less fast food and um, last week we actually used it on a trip to Bob Evans. It wasn't even for fast food. It was for actual like dine out food. Um, Dylan is going to get 10. Dylan is my husband. Um, and he definitely spends his personal money more often than I do. He's got 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, which is totally fine. That's what it's there for. No judgment at all. I love that he likes to buy himself stuff and I honestly kind of envy that. Um, just cause that's not generally, I'm the kind of person that will talk myself out of buying things. Um, I've got 10, 20, 21, 22. Lots of palindromes this week. Actually, it's only the second one. I don't know why I said lots. Uh, 22. I feel like it's boring when I don't chat more. Ooh, miscellaneous is in the wrong spot. Uh, children is going to get 10. Uh, doo -doo -doo. 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. And I just realized I did not take money out for hydrator pay. So I'm gonna have to go back and do that. So actually wait, because I don't think I have the right den denominations to take out six. I don't. Um, am I able to trade with the kids? I am. Awesome. So we're gonna trade. So I'm gonna take five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten out of the kids' envelope and put it in mine and put this ten in the kids' envelope. So the kids have ten, twenty. 30, 1, 2. So they've still got the right amount. I've still got the right amount. But what I'm going to do is take this 5 and this 6 and move it to the hydrator pay. So that will be our first $6 towards getting the kids their own tablet. Because let me tell you, that would definitely make life a lot easier. We are definitely not a no screens kind of family. So $6 is now in our technology envelope. That is really exciting. Um, all right, clothing, which I may have to use here soon. Um, I am in desperate need of a couple of different things. And right now there's only 10 in there. So there's going to be 10, 20. Uh, we will see how that goes. Uh, clothing is, we use that for like my husband and I, uh, anything that we need to buy for the kids comes out of children. Oh, almost forgot to write it down. I don't know. I'm like really chill today and it's honestly, it's almost disturbing. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened. I'm just like super chill. Uh, 10. I slept less than usual last night, which one might think would make me more hyper, but I think it just kind of chilled me out. Um, entertainment is getting 10 and we did finally buy the Batman last week. So we only had two left. So 10, 11, 12. Um, I think our next big purchase that we're saving up for in entertainment is, um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 comes out next month. So that's the next thing I think that we are saving up for. Date night is going to get, whoops, date night is going to get 15, <clears throat> 10, oops, 10 and 15. I am thinking about starting doing um, planners, like starting and actually, excuse me, starting to actually use my planners that I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73. Awesome. Um, we are going to have a date night this week, um, that we're just going to use this to get fast food. Um, and then I think we're going to go either next week or the week after and actually go see a movie in the movie theater. So that'll be fun. Um, that was 70 right oh my gosh I'm doing the thing again where I'm talking yeah, it was 73 um and if not I'll catch it in editing um but anywho what was I saying 73 what was I saying oh yeah so I am thinking about getting started doing planning in my actual planner. Uh, so I'm probably going to film that when I do that. And that might actually be the video for this Saturday, in which case I'll do the DIY with me next week. Um, giving is going to get $2. I still have not seen anybody. Like I, I don't know. I mean, I'm still seeing people just not at the corners that where I'm driving, where it's a place where I can give them money. So 
because I initially was going to say I wonder if they're like cracking down on that here, but I don't think that's the case because I do still see some people. It's just not at a time that I can give them money. Like sometimes I'll see people when I drive into the grocery store and then by the time I leave and I'm driving past where they actually are, then they're gone. So um, I mentioned this last week, but if you have any ideas for where I can um, donate any of the money that's left at the end of the month, then I will do that and we'll just start fresh next month maybe. Or maybe I'll just roll it over and we'll just wait. I, I honestly have no idea. But anyway, right now giving has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh yeah. So I guess I will keep y'all posted on how that goes as far as trying to find this, you know, find somebody to give that to. Uh Miss Lanice is gonna get twenty. Um, this we actually did spend quite a bit out of, and we still, we still have 20, 40, 60, 1, 2. So luckily we are doing pretty good with not spending a ton out of this. Last week was the, um, first week that we spent a lot out of there. 62. Okay, cool. So now that we are to the revolving and the annual funds, I am not going to be counting these because this is something that I would like to do at the end of the month. When I do my check-in, uh, well, it might be two separate videos, but I'll do a check-in uh, with what I've spent, and then I am also going to do a um, counting of my revolving and annual funds and then consolidating down to smaller bills because there are some with a lot of ones and a lot of fives. Because some weeks, um, I mean, some weeks we can't stuff, you know, we've got a few zeros on here, but also we stuff a lot of ones. <laughs> Just because that makes me feel better. I know some people don't do um, sinking funds for things like their car registration and whatever. But for me personally, and my husband is kind of the same way, if we know we have something coming up, we would rather set money aside for it little by little um, as far in advance as possible. So that's just kind of the kind of people that we are. So we like to... It, it, it helps. It helps us. Um... Glasses is going to get 10. Like I say, I'm not going to count, but I am just going to peek in and make sure that it ends up in the right spot so that when I do go through and count at the end of the month, it'll be all in the right order. Pet is going to get 10, and this I really do, I think I mentioned last time, I need to schedule to get my dog's vaccines, um, and I should have enough for that um, maybe next month or the month after. Um, car is going to get 25, and it's this thing says car maintenance just because I haven't updated it. Now it's just the general car envelope because uh, I decided to just put repairs and maintenance together. So that's, oh, I'm going to have to pull this out. So that's going to get 20 and 5 in there. And I do need to call, um, I'm actually going to call the mechanic this week and find out how much, I think I've got enough for an oil change. So if I end up getting an oil change before the end of the month, then I will obviously count the envelope and make sure um, where we're at with that. Um, Netflix is gonna get five. Uh, we do buy um, gift cards to get gas points. So that's why Netflix and Hulu are over here and not um, in the bills category. Hulu is just gonna get a dollar because we don't need to buy that one for a little bit yet. I think it's not until October that that's due again. So I will update my spreadsheet here soon to make sure that we're on the right track. Gifts is gonna get 10. That is our last 10, hopefully that's correct. When I take the last of something, I'm always a little nervous that I did my math wrong or something. Um, new phone, which is for me, is going to get three. One, two, and three. And that's just, we're, we're saving up ahead of time so that when my phone decides to call it quits, that we are just not going to have to cash flow the entire thing. Um, computer build is for my husband. He does have a computer right now, but he wants to have something a little bit more powerful. Uh, he actually is now talking about going back to school, so... Um, he will definitely need something a little more powerful for that because right now he just got like one of the cheapest laptops you can get. Um, Daisy, this is for, um, my business expenses. If I have any, um, come up, obviously I don't have like an official business that's been, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not, I don't have like an LLC or anything like that, but just that way we can keep track if I buy anything that is quote unquote business related 
um, it comes out of a separate envelope so I don't have to use my personal for that. And Paladin is my husband's. Um, those are just our nicknames for each other. Don't ask, it's weird. Uh, school is, <coughs> gosh, it's so dry down here. Hang on. Uh, school is going to get five. Um, and we actually may need to, um, start saving up a little bit more because my son is actually going to go to preschool, um, in the fall. Well, I mean, it's going to start technically in the summer. Um, so we're going to have to buy actual school supplies. So that's going to be a little wild. Um, all right. And then we've got our annual funds and we are mostly just putting ones in a lot of these. Uh, let's see. His birthday is not going to be for a while, so that's not getting stuffed. Zoom membership is going to get five, and I'm really hoping that we can get to a point where we can actually buy a Zoom membership soon. Um, I really want to take my younger son is currently very into elephants, so we want to take him to see the elephants. Uh, Master class is getting zero. Shutter is going to get five. Okay, that is the last five, and that is definitely correct because almost all the rest of these are just getting ones and one two. But vacation is going to get forty because that's really coming up fast and I feel like we're not gonna have enough but we'll just cash flow whatever we have to um, from savings if we need to just because it's my grandma's 90th birthday so we really want to make sure we get down there all right Lucas is gonna get a dollar these are all so this is for my son my older son's birthday he will turn three in September um, and he is, um, he's got some sensory issues, so we just kind of are going to play it by ear whether he gets a party or we just do like pizza at home, um, based on where he's at at the time. Um, so we've got a dollar in Halloween, which is a favorite holiday over here. Key registration, that is my car, that is going to get a dollar. Um, Christmas is going to get two dollars. And um, I think I mentioned this already. I definitely want to start bulking this one up because we do tend to try to do a lot of our um, present shopping relatively early. Uh, PlayStation Plus is going to get a dollar. Um, this one snuck up on us either this year or last year where we just kind of forgot when it was coming out. So definitely want to stay on top of that one. Um, Pontiac is going to get a dollar. I am opening the wrong envelope. Pontiac is going to get a dollar. Uh, and then we'll probably start stuffing... Um, Easter and Orion's birthday again here soon. Cosign membership is going to wait though because we, I have to check with them. Um, that's the science center. Um, I have to check with them because we, at the beginning of the pandemic, did sign up for a special deal where we got, um, a, like a two year membership once the place opened back up. So we should be good for at least another year, I think, but I have to double check with them and find out when it expires. So that is our cash stuffing for today. Uh, yeah. I am going to let y'all go and enjoy the rest of your week. If you like the way that I ramble and um, hopefully next time I'll have a little more energy by the way, um, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, give me a comment down below. Again, one thing I really want to know, what's your thoughts on where I should donate this money if I have it roll over to the end of the month? Because though we are putting um, almost everything that rolls over from our cash envelopes at the end of the month into home purchase, we are going to be donating the giving and uh, possibly keeping miscellaneous depending on how much is left in there. So give me your thoughts. I am very excited to hear them and I will see y'all on Saturday with either a DIY with me or a planner. I'm not entirely sure yet. We will find out together. Bye y'all.